Okay, so on question 17, Liam invests £6,200 for three years in a savings account. He gets 2.5% per annum compound interest. So £6,200 for three years, 2.5% per annum, which is per year, compound interest. And compound interest is where you get interest on the interest. How much would he have in his savings account at the end of the three years? So we can use a formula. If you know the formula, it's fairly straightforward. The amount is equal to the principal, which is what you invest, multiplied by 1 plus R, which is the rate, to the power of N, the number of years. So the principal is 6,200. And we're going to multiply that by 1 plus the rate. The rate is 2.5%. And we give that as a decimal. 0 0.025. The power of n, which is the number of years, or the time, which is 3. So, taking out the calculator, 6,200 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.025 to the power of n, which is 3. 6,676.72 Double check that, 0.72 pounds So that's one way of doing it. Another way we could do it is do it year by year so at the end of year one, he will have 6,200 plus 2.5%, which is going to equal 6,200 multiplied by 1.025. So 6,200 multiplied by 1.025, he has 102.5%, So then, that's what he has at the end of year one. At the end of year two, he'll have what he had before, 6355 plus 2.5%. which equals 6355 five, multiplied by 1.025. So 6355 five, multiplied by 1.025, which gives us 6513.875. Eight, seven, five, and then at the end of year three, he will have what he had at the end of year two, plus two point five percent, which equals six five one three, multiplied by one point zero two five. multiply that by 1.025 and we get 6839.57 I've typed that in wrong um, so let me just modify that 
3.025. There we go. Ooh, something's gone desperately wrong here. Let me just modify that. 6, 5, 1, 3, point eight seven five. Multiply that by 1.025. Six six seven six point seven two. Six six seven six point seven two, and you'll notice that that answer is the same as what we had before. So that's a slightly longer way of going about it, but both ways will get you get you to the answer.